Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another episode. It's early Sunday morning. I don't know the exact date, but I'll put it in the video once I get going. Um, but it's uh, about 7 a.m. Actually, look at my phone. Today is uh, the 28th, August 28th. 6:47 a.m. Getting an early start here, trying to get in the water. I haven't kayak fished out here in a while, but the last time I came, I did catch some decent sized fish on the uh, Wait Senko. And I'll put a link to that the description of that video, and I'll put a link in the description to that video so you guys can check it out. But there's some nice fish in here. I'm gonna get back on them. I was gonna go to a lake this morning, but just didn't feel like making that drive. And this lake here is it's called Matthews Lake, and they got some nice fish in here. Quality fish, I must say. So guys, we're gonna try to get on them. We're trying to rush. As you know, in the fishing world, time is everything. <clears throat> These fish they eat, they on the clock just like we are. So what I got going so far is I got the I got a baked bird swim jig here. Definitely gonna keep that tied on. And then I have a uh, long arm prop frog. And again, I have another baked bird jig. It's a flipping jig. So what I'm gonna do is probably switch out one of these. I might just switch out this uh, swim jig and put on a weightless, weightless Senko. Then again, I'm not sure. We have some low temps. The last three or four nights, maybe more now. It's a little chilly this morning, but that should do work wonders for the fishing this morning. So I was gonna get in the water and make it happen. I'll we'll try to at least, so stay tuned. Hope you guys enjoy. Alright guys, finally got myself together. I'm in the water now. Let's see what we can do. We got the Lucky Hut frog tied on, Burke's Bakes swimming jig, and a Burke's Bakes flipping jig. We're gonna try it out here, guys. Let's see what we can get going this morning. Switched it up, <clears throat> took off that bird plate swing jig. I did get a short strike right at the kayak. Wasn't really anticipating that to happen, but it did. So, All right, then we got on the uh, wait, the Senko. Let's see how that does. Can't get bit. Oh, wrong. There we go, first fish. Fish guys. Back us off the spot real quick. Talk about what I just did. What I did was kept fishing that spot, guys. There's some little fish there. Nothing huge, but get on that trap tackle hook. 
Boy, this thing go. About a pound and a half. Let's see, what I did was, I, I cast it in this spot. This is a nice shaded ambush spot where pretty much almost guaranteed to, to catch fish if they're up shallow feeding. A lot of shade, a lot of cover. A good spot where you can get ambushed. Like I said, the, the last video I posted was from this, this particular area. This actually the same lake. And, uh, and um, same tactic, just that it happened faster. Casting in there, well wait, let's go let this sink down and feel for the bite. In this particular situation, I didn't feel the bite. I just saw my line swimming off. So same thing, now let's go back in there and see if we can't get another one. I'm not saying there's gonna be another fish in there, but there might be a pattern to what's going on this morning. I did get bit on the swim jig earlier up shallow. Water temps have dropped tremendously. I'm assuming based off of what I felt with my hands and feet once I got tired. We've had some cold nights and they should be up up in here shallow feeding guys. So I actually thought it was hung on that on that one, but he ate it. Not a big fish, but it looks like it was a keeper, almost a tournament fish. If I was in a kayak uh, fishing tournament, so it's one of the boat guys. Hoping to produce enough to, to give you guys a decent video. Trouble hooks is scary chatterbait, guys. <sighs> what a tank. What a tank. Oh, yeah. Check it out, guys. He swallowed it. Check that out. I think it may be four. Trouble hooks a scary chatterbait. Check it out. Gambler Big Easy Swimmer uh, trailer in, yeah, guys. Let's get a weight on this guy. It's kind of heavy. Little skill turn on here. I'm thinking maybe four. Not a five. It's definitely got to be a four. Get this skill going. the truth. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's oh. doing the ounces. Let's fix that. Just kilograms. Pounds. Uh-oh. What was wrong? Wow, 44 guys. Nice solid 544. Four. Trevor hooks is scary.
544. Just get a link on them. Is long. Nice fish. Fish guys on their treble hooks are scary. Scary with this. There she goes. Solid fish. First time really trying this out. Treble hooks are scary. Chatterbait. Let me see how I don't like some. With the Z Man. No, no, no. A gambler. Big Easy Swimmer on the back. I took off some of the head. And I bent this blade here in the front. Just a little bit to keep it down in the water column. That's a little thing I, I picked up and learned watching, of course, YouTube videos. And it works. It stays down in the water column a little bit longer. And that fish. I felt a little weight on it, but I couldn't really tell. But when it got close to me, I just set the hook because I could feel it a little bit heavier. So she was running right at me when she hit it. And as you can see, she was paying good right in the roof of the mouth where it should have been. Nice five, almost five and a half. This is placed quite a bit, and that's the biggest one I caught out here this year. So, battery died on the first GoPro, so let's switch up. To my very first GoPro, it's the GoPro Hero Plus. Yeah. There we go. Yes, sir. <laughs> Not a giant, but another one, guys. Come on, open up. I'll let you go. I'm going to try to this scary. I end up losing that child a bit. <clears throat> That's alright. I'm gonna switch up to this uh gamma easy swimmer but on a Burke's base swim jig. Pretty much imitates the same type of fishing I was just doing. Just without the boat. Same setup. No blade, so Get this going, guys. See if we can't catch us a couple more before the video ends. All right, guys. Got it all rigged up. Let's see what we can do. What's going on? Hmm. Yes, sir. No solid, guys. It's time on it. Swim jig. Killing it, guys. I think I figured them out, guys. Matching the hatch. First big swim jig. The trailer, gave him an easy swimmer. Get a quick weight on this guy. He's not a big one, but definitely the biggest of the day thus far. I give him two and a half. And just scale in. T 
284. Pretty close to a three. There we go. And then I just just tapping this thing, guys. They're really eating it. I'm using a high gear ratio reel here, 7-1-1, Shimano Corrado K. 15-pound uh, floor on. Oh. <laughs> they are smoking it, I tell you. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Never fish one location one time. Always go back to the second game plan if you have no time, guys. I fished this spot already. I fished this whole lake already. And they are on this one jig. They are on the moving bike. Look at that. Another solid fish. On that swim jig. And get it out. Check it out, guys. All right, so we got a 5.4, 287, I believe, and then this one right here, third biggest of the morning. I'm gonna say he's three. 291, another solid fish, guys. Tournament fish. If I was fishing tournament, that'd definitely be a keeper. Long through. See the length of this guy. Eighteen and a half inches there. Good fish. What a day it's been. Solid fish.